Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I'm a TV reviewer and professional calibrator. In this video, we're going to go through the steps to disable the Sunbar Interactive TV prompt on Sony's 2017 TVs with the Android 7.0 Nougat update and also how to improve things if your Sony Android TV platform runs a bit slow or sluggish. Since the Android Nougat 7.0 update, you may notice that your Sony Android TV with this update, including the Sony A1 OLED, the Sony ZD9, the Sony XC93 or XC94, they may have a prompt asking you to enable the Samba Interactive TV whenever you switch on the television. I'm going to show you how to disable that prompt without actually signing up for the Samba Interactive TV if you don't want to. To disable the Samba Interactive TV notification, first click the home menu button which will bring up the Android TV homepage then go down into settings go to apps scroll down to something called Samba Service Manager as you can see there are lots of background processes running some of which I don't know what they actually do well, let's scroll down, try and get down as fast as possible to Samba Interactive TV. Right, Samba Services Manager. So if you click on it, first click for stop, press OK and then press disable, press OK. So this app will be disabled and the next time you switch on the television, hopefully the Samba Interactive TV prompt won't appear again. Okay, that was how to disable the Sony Interactive TV notification on your Sony TV. So hopefully you won't see the prompt again whenever you start up the television. Now we're gonna go through the steps to improve things if your Sony Android TV runs a bit too slow. The first thing I need to tell you about is that if you do not connect your Sony Android TV to the internet, it actually runs a bit faster because what the Sony Android TV portal does in the background is that if you have an internet connection, is to continuously try to download stuff, try to update stuff in the background. So from that point of view, I've always found that the TVs that I normally get in for review, if I don't actually hook them up to the internet, then they usually are quite responsive in terms of the Sony Android TV platform. But I do understand that from your point of view, internet connection may be necessary on your Sony Android television because you would like to access Netflix, YouTube or Amazon Prime Video on your television. So an internet connection may be unavoidable if you like to stream content from those apps. In that case, what we can do is to disable or stop some of these unnecessary apps from operating. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll show you the things that you need to do to reduce the bloat on your Sony Android TV system. Why Sony Android TV platforms can run so slow after some time of use is because there are, there's only a limited amount of memory and storage on the TV itself. But over time, these apps, they download and they cache certain images or videos or settings over time causing the memory to be filled up and therefore there's not enough memory for a smooth operation. The first thing that I normally like to do, because I'm not entirely sure of the many processors that is listed here, but I know for sure that it is safe to, dis to clear the cache of the Sony Select. So if you clear, click on clear data, okay, and then click on clear cache if you if it is full and then just press for stop to stop this app after doing that there's another one that we need to clear which is the Sony shelf one and you can just click on clear data 
and then press for stop, press OK. So by clearing these two, it should be sufficient to speed up your Android TV responsiveness. Right, I need to make a disclaimer, the normal disclaimer that people give at this time. I mean, this video is for information purposes only. Uh, you take your own risk if you decide to follow the steps in this video and I will take no responsibility or liability for any damage that you cause to your television. If you want a more advanced way, if you want to really go gung-ho to try and speed up your Android TV system, what you can do is to try and enable the developer mode and then go into the TV and limit the background processors. I'm going to show you how to do that. This is really hardcore, so please, if you are already feeling that your TV is fast enough by disabling the Sony shelf and the Sony select apps, then I suggest you don't do the step. This is just really for those that want the ultimate best responsiveness. So to enable the developer mode, you go into the about setting and then go under build and just keep pressing the OK button until you are a developer according to the television. Now, if you go back and under the system preferences, I think, there will be a new option called the developer options, if you click on that. So the idea behind this process is to try and limit the background processes that the Android TV is running so that the whole platform speeds up. This is similar to how, you know, if you remember some older Android phones, they are very, very slow. And what people have been doing is to go into the debug or developer modes to try and restrict the number of processors that can run at the same time, therefore speeding up the Android phone. So what we need to do is to scroll down. To this item here named background process limit. The default setting is standard limit if you click on it. And if you just click on at most four processors, that will limit it to four processors. Another thing that you can do while you're in the developer options submenu is to speed up the animations or even turn it off. So when the menu sc scroll in and out and when you select certain items, there's usually some sort of animation that comes with the action that you are trying to execute. You can try and speed it up to twice the speed. So, so if you select this, twice the speed which should, again, speed up your Android TV experience. Or, if you don't care about all these animations, you can switch it off as well. Okay, uh, but I'll just leave it on 0.5 for now. And there you go. That's the, how you actually, first of all, disable the Samba Interactive TV on your Sony 2017 Android television with the Android Nougat 7.0 update. And secondly, how to improve the speed and responsiveness of the Android TV platform. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test channel for future tips and tricks like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time.